Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with policies and we protect the Roust edit and delete posts. Only the user who owns that post can edit and delete. Okay, but what if we want to add an admin in our project and the admin can edit and delete all the posts? How we can do that? Let's start by adding a column in the user's migration. And we can do that by opening the user's uh, migration and for example we can add here a new column or we can create a new migration just for that so say in php artisan or in my case art make colon migration and i'm going to use double quotes and say uh, add is is admin to users table hit enter and the migration inside the database migrations with this name created successfully okay let's close this and let's open that so is admin and here what i'm going to do i'm going to say just a dollar sign table boolean is admin and by default it's going to be false okay also down there, I'm going to say dollar sign table drop column is admin. So when we delete, also we are going to delete this column. Okay, let's save and let's close this. Now, because we have created a new migration, let's run that migration. So artisan uh, migrate. But before that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the let's go to Cedar's database. Cedar, and here we have. Uh, this user when we run dbc we created a new user with this name test user and the email test example.com i'm going to change this to say that this is going to be an admin user and here let's say admin example and then i'm going to add also the his, his admin to be true okay let's save and let's close and now let's open the terminal and run fresh I have an alias for that, so PHP is on migrate fresh dash dash seed. I'm going to close that. And one more thing we want to do is to open the user model. And here on the class, we need also to register uh, his admin, which is going to be a Boolean. Okay. We need to cast that and let's save and let's close. Now we have that user. Let's open the, we don't have now posts in our project let's go and log in with that user so admin example dot com and add the password here okay what i'm going to do i'm going to display the name of the user right here so let's open the nav bar and here when we check for quest and quest and for out Right here, I'm going to say a spawn with the class to be text blue. And also I'm going to say font to be semi bold. Like this. And in here, I'm going to display the auth username. Okay. Let's save and let's see now. We have admin user. Okay, let's create a new post. And I'm going to say admin post and here on the message just some gibberish and yeah this is admin post now because we are the owner of this post we can edit and delete good I'm going to log out and let's uh, register a new user I'm going to change the name of the user to be test uh, user and let's uh, register this one okay now if I click here, yeah, we cannot edit that, but let's go and create a new user, a new post, sorry. And I'm going to say this is a test user post store. Now this is a test user post. If I click, we can edit and delete. Very good. I want to log out and I'm going to log in with admin. Okay. Now I am admin user here. 
I can edit this post because this is my post. But if I click here, and as you can see right now, we cannot edit and delete. And also if I go manually here, the edit, yeah, we have 403, this section is unauthorized. But if we go to authorization in the Laravel documentation and scroll down the policies, because we protect them with policies, yeah, we have here, but we can add the filter, the post policy. Yeah, here we have the policy filter. So let's copy this one. And let's open the post policy. And here I'm going to add that one. I'm going to write right here. And here we check if the user is administrator, but we don't have that is administrator. If the user is underscore admin, return true, otherwise, otherwise return not. Or we can say return false, which is better. And I'm going to save that. Now let's go and refresh. Yeah, now we can edit and delete that. Okay, so this is test user post. Let's say updated. Update. And that is updated. Let's go back. Update. Okay, let's go to pause. Let's go to this one. Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, other thing is to create a, a gate. So let's go up here on the documentation of Laravel and we have gates. So write in a gate. So gates are simply closure that determine if a user is authorized to perform a given action. And typically gates are defined within the boot method of app service provider class using the gate facade and we have an example here so for example uh, update the post but i'm going to create another one so let's open that app service provider and inside the boot method we need to create a gate okay so let's import first the facade and then I'm going to change the name here. I'm going to say is admin. Okay, and the function import the user from the app models user. We don't need the post here. I'm going to return dollar sign user is admin. Okay. Let's save and now Let's open the web routes to register new route. Here on the route middleware out, I'm going to register new route here just for the admin. And I'm going to say uh, route get admin. And just for now, I'm going to add the closure here function and return. We don't have a view, but I'm going to return a string here you are logged in as admin okay and the middleware as you can see is admin we don't have this middleware but we can use uh, the same thing we have here can so let's say can is admin and let's say let's come here and let's visit this admin here so let's say slash admin Hit enter, you are logged in as admin. Okay. Uh, what if I log out as admin and register a new user, which is not admin? And now if I navigate the admin page, we have 403, this action is unauthorized because we added this middleware can is admin, or we can use that uh, can and saying here is admin okay so on the app service provider we define this gate is admin and now the same thing is going to happen this action is unauthorized now this is a simple one and in the next video we are going to create a new middleware a middleware just for the admin user 
that's it all about this video now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much